Hi everyone! Well, if you watched last week when I shared that envelope mini album that I made, you saw that I went crazy making tags. I fell in love with that die set. And since then, I have decorated those tags up and I've also made a card using one of the tags on it and I want to share it with you guys. So let's head on over to the craft table and let me show you what I did. And here they are along with the die set that I used, which is called Stitched Note Tag Dies, and that is from In Love Arts, and all of them are stitched. So it's really cool. I really love the stitched look. It's kind of one of my favorite things. I think it adds a little something special to tags or pretty much anything. So these are what I used. And down below here are the tags that I made. So let me just show them to you really quickly and then I will show you the card that I made. So all of these that have a patterned paper, they're made with the Bronte Charm paper pack from Men Love Arts. And I think it's just a gorgeous paper pack. And all of the edges, see if you could see it all of the edges are foiled well on most of them they're foiled and for that I used deco foil and this particular one is rose gold and I use that along with some glue stick for a technique that I share in one of my videos on how to use um, deco foil without a machine so Back to this one, I had the foil on the edges, and then I have a little butterfly punch that I used to punch out the, the gold metallic cardstock there and added those, and so I get up really close here, I added some little pink gems on the butterflies. And here's this one, and I love those flowers. My daughter picked those up for me. Um, from the craft warehouse over in Washington and Oregon. Um, she lives, you know, near a couple of those craft warehouses. I wish I did. But here's another one, again, with a foil around the edges and a little foiled butterfly. And another one. I added a couple more of those butterflies. I thought the butterflies went really good with the foiled edges and the flowers. So they're just beautiful. If you don't know by now, if you haven't watched my videos enough, my favorite color is pink and I love butterflies. So obviously I have butterflies and pink added to pretty much everything along with that foil trim, um, the deco foil around the edges because I really love, love, love deco foil and love adding it to things. Even though I did not add it to this one, this one, I actually use the die, which is really cool because you can see through it. It's got an opening so you can see right where you're putting it. And I put it around one of the flowers to make it the focal point. Isn't that cool? And then I just added some pink um, gems around the, ed around the edges there and a bow. And this one is pretty plain for right now. You can see the beautiful stitched edges. And it says forever. I did that with, um, oh, silver embossing, silver, oh my goodness, gold embossing powder. <laughs> and I'm probably not going to use this as a tag, but more as a label. And so I'll put a little, um, probably a brad through there and a brad through the bottom or, you know, just add something like maybe a little stud or something. And then this one I just did all in white. So white embossing powder, white pearls, white ribbon. I just really like that look and it's on the, you know, craft cardstock. And I thought that one looked really elegant. I mean, it's simple, but it's got the stitched edges and the embossed flowers. And then another one of those little flowers that my daughter got me. And this one I used a script stamp and white embossing powder, a fine detail white embossing powder, and added the little flowers and a bow. I really love the way that came out because it's raised, you know, because it's the embossing powder. 
but I just love that look. And this one has more of a, a vintage look to it with that key on there. And again, embossing powder, really pretty with the foil around the edges. And again, this one will probably be used more for a label. I actually think the shape of this one is more of a label shape than a tag shape. So probably with, you know, a brad top and bottom to hold it on. And just a really sweet, simple one. Sweet moments. Again, embossing powder, a few gems, and a flower. And another one. Just simply stamped in the back. And then added a flower and a couple gems and then stamped the word love. And, oh, can't pick this one up. There we go. No, yes, no. I don't know if you could tell, but it's lightly stamped with hearts in the background. And then this heart was a little bit brighter, and I added some liquid glass to that. And then stamped always and forever. And I just kind of wanted to show that these can go anywhere from elegant to maybe more masculine or vintage to something more cute and fun if you want to use it for a child or a teenager. So you can use these dies to make gorgeous stamps of all kinds. I'm sorry, not stamps, <laughs> gorgeous tags of all kinds. I do not know what's wrong with my brain today, but just hang in there with me. So now I am going to show you the beautiful card that I made. And here it is. So again, I used papers from the Bronte Charm pack. And this is one of the tags that I made. And I just thought it was really sweet. Again, with a butterfly and the foiling around the edges and one of those sweet little flowers. I added a bow. And then um, this is, let me pull this out here. It is Shimmer Trim, and this is from Close to My Heart. I don't sell it, but my friend Jeannie does, so I'll put her link below. But this is um, an adhesive-backed glittery ribbon, and what's really nice about it is it doesn't rub off. So you're not going to have glitter everywhere, and yet you can add that beautiful glitter trim to any project. So that is the card that I made. And I just love these tags. You can use these tags on cards. You can use them anywhere you would use a tag or to decorate anything. They're fabulous. So thanks for letting me share this with you. Thank you all for watching today. And if you click down there where it says show more, that'll drop down and you are going to find the links to the products that I used today. And you will also find a link to In Love Arts and a coupon code for 15% off from your order there. So happy crafting everyone. Bye-bye.